Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Uh, I bid to our lecturer Dr. Mohaimin and for the subject EMG T303 project management and operation we are given a task to conduct a project and for our group group I we have <laughs> selected a project which is field trip to Pulau Pangkok Island. My name is Muhammad Arif Fudimir Rahmat and my group has six members which is consists of Muhammad Rizwan Effendi, Wan Muhammad Fahmi, Muhammad Lumah Yusof, Ifan Najmi and also Amirul Faiz. For the introduction, I will invite Rizwan for the introduction of this project. Thank you, Ari. Okay, uh, so for our introduction mm. to our project, which is a uh, free trip to Pulau Pangko Island. So we know the project is free trip to Pulau Pangko Island. So the purpose for the project of the free trip to Pulau Pangko Island is, is a task that has given by our <laughs> lecturer uh, to do uh, in situ sampling to get the data uh, from the population and nature at the Pulau Pangko site for our class. So the task that are given to us that are related to this project are from the preparation, uh, organization, the equipment need uh, for the sampling, uh, for lastly uh, budget or costing for hotel and so on during our project uh, of Pulau, a fee trip to Pulau Pangko. So next Okay, this is the task uh, for this project, which is the first point uh, is the risk management. Okay. For risk management, is a proactive attempt to recognize and manage internal event and external threat that affect likelihood of a project uh, to succeed. And the second one is what can go wrong uh, during the event. And the third one is how to minimize the risk event uh, impact the consequences uh, of the risk management uh, program. And for fourth is what can be done before an event occurs. So this is something like we are going to do some uh, schedule uh, of the event. And the last one is what to do when an event occurs. This one is under contingency plan. Uh, the contingency plan is a planning that we are going to do to make sure that if something might happen during the event. Next. Okay, uh, for the project that we are run for the Spanko Island, which, uh, we need this RBS, we call it as RBS, which is this breakdown structure under this this breakdown structure, uh, we have the main thing which is we call it as a project for our program and below we decide to put it into four main points which is technical, external, organizational and project management under technical. Uh, we require for the requirement, the second one is performance and reliability. The third one is quality and the last one is technology. Uh, we move to external, which is external for the project. Uh, we consider it about the weather at the event. The second one is regulatory and the third one is market. And for the third one, for the project, which is organizational, uh, the first one is resources and the second one is project dependence. The third one is funding. So for the funding, we collect all the funding from the student, the lecture, and the faculty of our <coughs> of the environment faculty, which is faculty of environment itself. And the last one is the project schedule. So this project schedule is very important to make sure that our project are going to run smoothly during and before, during and after the event. So the last one is for project management, under project management, we have decided to classify into four and the main thing for the project management, we estimate it, planning and controlling all the events. So to make sure that the management uh, to the program is going to run smoothly and run nicely. 
and the last one under project management is communication skills. So for communication skill, as you guys know, it's very important for us to know uh, about communication skill because communication skill uh, required to everyone because it is something that we do and we make it as our conversation every day. So communication for me is very important to all. So under all RBS structure, uh, the most this is the four thing that we need to consider during our project to Pulau Pangkok Island. Next. So thank you, Amirul. So there are seven steps of risk management process. So for the risk management process is uh, measuring or assessing risk and then developing strategy to manage the risk. The risk. So they have seven of risk management, which is the first one is identification, second assessment, third potential risk treatment, then create the plan, five implementation, then the last one, eh, then uh, review and evaluation of the plan, the, uh, then the last one is establish the content. Next. So, uh, for the risk, there are two risks, which is major risk and minor risk. So, I will explain uh, for the major risk. So, the first one is budget risk for the transportation and recommendation. Second, resistant to change for the organization involved the participant from the person in class to volunteer their safe in the job scope given. Then, resources is to get the supplier for catering and the reservation for hotel and the date we need. After that, we need to support, we need to sponsor support to back up that unexpected cost that will be used when doing our sampling. And the last one is concern on health and safety when doing sampling from site to the hospital or police station if any incident happen. So I will pass to uh, next, Sifan. Okay, thank you, Fami. As we see, Fami was present the major risk for this project, and now I will present the minor risk for this project. Okay, firstly, for this minor risk for this project, firstly, emergency procedures that leader can take for fast response when something happens. Next, student and staff ratio that involved in the field trip to avoid from any of us missing in some location. Third, emergency money that need when buy something that we don't expect. Fourth, recommend insurance for each student. And the last is the important contact information to inform the leader to identify. Okay, for the cost estimations, firstly, hotel that costs RM160 per day that consists of five rooms. And the total 800 multiplied by three days and equal to 2,400 for the hotel. Next is, is for food. Food that total RM20 each per day multiplied by 60 students equal to RM1200 and multiply by three days and equal to 3600. For transportation, which is we use the bus that cost RM1000 for two ways. For ferry ticket, RM15 per way multiply by 60 student equal to RM900 and for two ways that which cost RM1800. For rent car at the island, RM1000 per day by three days equal to 300. For barbecue equipment, that costs RM500. And for and the last, for mineral water and snack, that costs RM200. The total of the cost estimation for this trip is RM9800. Okay, next I will pass to Lukman. 
Okay, thank you Yvette. Yvette. Okay, for the contingency planning, easy to easy for us to understand it. The contingency planning is the another uh, preparation for our uh, to prepare if if we has some problem when doing uh, the activities as loss of data or the weather of change. It's important for us uh, to looking for this to be more prepared when doing something. So I will give you some tips how to do the uh, simple contingency planning by looking to the scenario, figure, respond, way to inform the key responsi responsibility and the, our timeline. For the timeline, we can make sure if we cannot achieve to uh, achieve the goal to make uh, this project, we can see what uh, an, another plan we, we can make to achieve this goal. So, uh, to do this cottage planning, we can involve the people around, around Earth in our project and keep it simple for us to more understanding for it. So, the, so our contingency uh, planning, such as we need our uh, emergency budget that, uh, for 2000, win the raincoat is when doing the same thing. If uh, the weather change, if it ha have rainy or sometime, something, use the staking clothes when in the jungle, uh, bring the life jacket when we do the same thing near the risky area, if that as uh, near the water or river. Okay, for the last one, you can use uh, the toss light if have anything, any, anything at night if it emergency when not have electrical or power supply. Okay, next I will pass to Ayfudin. Okay, thank you Rahman. For my part, which the last part is a risk severity matrix. So a risk matrix is a matrix that is used during risk assessment to define the level of risk by considering the category of probability or the likelihood against the category of consequence severity. Basically, risk metric is a simple mechanism to increase visibility of risk and assist management decision making. So, uh, you know, uh, we have decided to use a three level of risk severity metric, which is uh, low, medium and high. As you can see from the figure uh, in the slide, the green one will represent the low risk severity. The, ye the yellow one will, uh, will represent the medium risk severity and the last one for the red one is uh, represent a high risk severity. So we have come to the end of the our slide. Since this is an online presentation, there is no Q&A session. So uh, before I end our presentation, I will uh, I, uh, I want to talk about the uh, the the project that we done is uh, in Kuala and we hope the project will be run smoothly as we have um, we have planned. Uh, with that, uh, with that, I will uh, assalamualaikum and thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah.